Hey, I'm Chris Velasco. I'm Daryl Etherington. Today we're taking a look at the Nokia Lumia 1520. And this one. <laughs> Welcome to Fly or Die. You've been holding this in your hand for a little while now. You've been playing with it for a couple days. My hand is very tired. My arm is very tired. Why is, pray tell, Dave, why is that? Just from holding this phone for the shoot, just now, what you've seen, what you've seen on video. That's, uh, that's not, that's not fair. Uh, this, like I, think, a cramp. I think this is a great phone. I think you're just, you're I just. you are delirious. What? Because this is not a <laughs> Look phone. at this thing. This is, this is the best I've ever seen Windows Phone. <laughs> oh, that's very sad. <laughs> okay, so lay out your argument. What's, what is so crazy about this to you? Well, it, it's. It's got a six inch screen that runs at 1080p. Not a phone. So it it's not the only one. But it's. It's gigantic. It's not that gigantic. <sighs> Look at that. That's, that's totally. I mean, it's, is it for everyone? No. But could you make it work if you like big phones? Absolutely. This isn't going to be for, like, your mom. Okay, so this is for giant-handed people, and there's a big market of giant-handed people out there. So in that way, you're right. Um, I, I kind of like the plastic. I'll yeah, the polycarb is always nice. Yeah. Kudos to Nokia for sticking with it. They do, they do a good job of that. But... Uh, Look at that! Look at that slim profile, though. That's fantastic. Yeah, the camera hump is like always, always annoying. This is better than the one on the 1020. This yeah. Is still Are you really going to complain after looking at the 1020 and then no. having this tiny I'm 20 not. megapixel camera? You hump? Should not have a headphone jack in the middle of the top of your device. You just should not do that. Why? It's stupid. Why? It's, I don't know. I think I'm it's great because if I have it in my pocket and I have I'm my headphones pleasant. running into it. You're just being you're just being contrarian. I'm not just being contrarian. I really I really think this is a totally ludicrous device. Look at the backlighting on the keys. Then. Okay, if we're going to if we're going to pick nits, sure. The backlighting on the Windows keys that run along the bottom of the phone is not completely uniform. Yeah, exactly. I'll give you that. There you go. Case made. Done. All okay. <laughs> let's I mean let's talk about Windows Phone for a second. Windows Phone you has mean made the some software? Yeah, Windows Phone okay. 8. Uh, has made some pretty significant leaps forward. It's finally getting, I think, where it needs to be with the app situation, which has been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. uh, so kudos to them for that. I'm really looking forward to seeing Windows Phone take up its rightful place as the second or third, whichever you feel is more appropriate in terms of uh, uh, mobile OS microchair. What? Mm -hmm. You think... Well, there you go. Let's take a great... Oh, that's a great photo of you. Actually, it's okay. So it does take good photos. Yeah, well, it's got a 20, uh, 20 megapixel... Uh, when you <laughs> just trying to get that. It's got a 20 megapixel camera on the back with Carl Zeiss yeah. optics. Uh, Nokia, to their credit, they know how to do uh, mobile imaging. Yeah, they do. They do know how to do mobile imaging. But that was a horrible picture, not because of the camera, just because of my face. Well, yeah, your face is bad, but it's it's a good it's a good enough camera and, it, and it's a good enough software or, or operating system. But it's, it's I don't know, and it could become number three easily. Mm -hmm. It's never going to become number two. Is that what you suggest? I, th I think it given enough time. It's, which one is it going to surpass? Ooh, could go either way. Really? No, you're crazy. That's crazy. You think so? I, I, I am holding out hope. But you are the guy who said has positive things to say about this phone. Well, I mean, so look at this. The screen is beautiful. The screen is fantastic, yeah. and with uh, Windows Phone 8.1, I believe you've got now three full rows of live tiles. So you've got all of this beautiful. Not, not two, but three. Jesus Christ, Dan. <laughs> you've got you've got a much more dynamic kind of home screen experience. It's more alive than I've ever seen it before, and it doesn't feel like it would make that much of a difference. But to me, it does. So I feel like this, is, in, in a lot of ways, is probably one of the best Windows phones I've ever used. I well, I find myself gazing at it, and like just like little pieces will move, and, it, and I'm like, whoa, what's that? And right. then I look up to see what's what's changing yeah. up there. But, so you enjoy that. I enjoy that. Well, I mean, you and I are both basically information junkies, like we live on new information coming in at a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. This is a mobile OS whose home screen is designed basically around that concept. But uh, like just glancing at it now, it's not providing me with very much useful information. Well, in fairness, that's just because I haven't been putting, I haven't putting enough work into it. Like it's got like vacation days and stuff like that and people's uh, social status is updating and our photos updating with ones that we've just taken as well. Yeah. So I mean, I think that's pretty cool. That's, I think that's one of the nicest things about Windows Phone is just the ease with which you're able to kind of glance at and take in all this information. Yeah, I, okay, I, that could be very useful depending if you take hey, the time hey, to set it up. Hey. But um, it's, no, it leaves me cold. Windows Phone leaves me cold. I find this, this screen sort of unnecessarily distracting and just, but the ge I'm over the geometry. I'm over the geometric sort of look of this or whatever, the layout. And 
I, it, yeah, I mean, it's not exciting to me. It's, it's visually, it was visually appealing, it was really visually interesting at the beginning, and now it's just like, I find it boring now. It's boring already, despite the fact that it's not cut on uh, and become popular and like ever present. Like I see a Windows film every, I don't know, six months or something, but mm -hmm. it still bores the hell out of me every time I do. I think we can both agree that it gains points because it happens to be the same color as my sweater, roughly. It does get points not really, not even, yeah. actually. There are no shoulder pads built into this, but there are in the sweater. So yeah, there sweater are shoulder wins pads. there. Mm. Yeah. It's uh, not, not real, it's not natural. No, that's not that's in absolutely case not the case. Everything. So let's let's bring it home. I give this thing a pretty unequivocal fly. <laughs> Dale. <laughs> I hate you so much, Dale. Just the opposite. This is die, die, die. Well, there you have it. Another split decision from Chris and Daryl. Uh, today we've been looking at the Nokia Lumia 1520. I'm Chris Velasco. And I'm Daryl This has been Fly or Die. Thank you for watching.